Okay guys, uh, this is our trailer reaction to Star Wars Rogue One. Not really a Star Wars movie, it's kind of like a Star Wars spin-off movie. So it's not a Star Wars movie, but it's a spin-off movie. But here we are to do our trailer reaction to it. And I have been so excited uh, for this movie ever since I um, heard about the idea of it being just about the rebels and their war against... Um, the Empire and stuff like that. Anyway, I'm just excited for it, so let's do this. State your name for the record. Jen Ursa. Forgery of Imperial documents. Possession of stolen property. Aggravated assault. Resisting arrest. On your own from the age of 15. Reckless, aggressive, and undisciplined. This is a rebellion, isn't it? I rebel. We have a mission for you. A major weapons test is imminent. We need to know what it is and how to destroy it. Is that clear? Yes, sir. What will you do when they catch you? What will you do if they break you? If you continue to fight... This past year has been an amazing one for Star Wars. Not only did the fans help to make The Force Awakens a global success, they've also helped to raise over $10 million on behalf of Star Wars Force for Change today. Mark's here to tell us what's happening. Okay. Uh, that, I don't know what that was, but um, what did you think of the first trailer for Rogue One? Well, it didn't really give much of the footage. But again, um, that's the point, not to yes, spoil the movie. Yes, exactly. You said um, the last trailer reaction. Yes, I know. Well, I that's know. The point. But yeah, no, it, they're still doing a good thing with keeping you intrigued. Um, I'm very surprised with this one. They're doing it slightly different. Yes, like I said, it's all it's all about the rebels and not a Jedi, like it has been for so long. It's very different, and. Um, as again, again, I, as I told you guys, I love this idea. It's telling a different story. Finally, we actually get to see the war between the rebels, and because it, it's called Star Wars, and we never get really, we never really get to see the war. The only time we ever got to see really a war was um, in the prequel movies, from Episode Two to Three. I'm discounting Episode One because there wasn't really a war going on at, at that time. But ever since Episode Two. To episode three, that was that was a real war, putting emphasis on Star Wars. This is going to put emphasis on Star Wars, Star Wars concerning um, as uh, still a part of the prequels, but it's a part of the sequel, uh, original trilogy as well. So I'm just, it's just like what was meant to happen. Like this, like I've been waiting for this ever since I heard about it. I, don't, I think I heard about it um, before Force Awakens came out, but um, I just love the idea. Uh, I don't know if you, if you know this, but they have um, a Star Wars movie coming out every year for the foreseeable future. Um, you've got this one coming out this year. Next year, you've got Episode 8. Then after that, you've got another spin-off movie. Then you've got Episode 9. Then you've got another spin-off movie. And they might be doing an Obi-Wan Kenobi spin-off as well. They've got a whole bunch of spin-off Ideas like Boba Fett, Obi Wan Kenobi, uh, a Han Solo movie, which I think is in production at the moment. I don't know, but uh, they have uh, one Star Wars movie coming out every year. Mm. My guess with the uh, Han Solo one, um, assumably since they killed Han Solo off, it's, it's, it's going to be not going to be Harrison Ford in it. Yeah, 
Um, they might actually. They might, I think what concerning the spin-off movies, if they're going to tell all these different stories about these different characters like Boba Fett, Han Solo, Obi Wan Kenobi, um, the Rebels. Uh, we already know that this one is set in between episode 3 and 4, but Han Solo's uh, story, we already, like, we saw uh, most of it happen between episode uh, 4 to 7. We already saw that. So we haven't really seen uh, his own story, so they might actually do that between episode 3 and 4 as well with Boba Fett. We kind of saw his story from episode four, from episode five to six. Plus, also the Obi Wan Kenobi spin-off movie that might be happening will definitely be happening in between episode three and four. Uh, so it seems like all these spin-off movies are happening in between episode three and four because there is just a much bigger story that happens in between those movies. Like you said it ages ago, years ago, when I, when um, before uh, Force Awakens was even. Uh, announced or before the idea was even popped into J.J. Abrams' head. You said that a lot had hap lo a lot had happened in between episode 3 and 4 that uh, we don't really know about, so maybe that's what all these spin-off movies are going to do, is going to fill those gaps. And I like that idea, because that's a long time. It's been like 20 or 30 years uh, gap between episode 3 and 4, so a lot yeah, could well, happen in that time. Well, this this is actually, I think, the way it's, the way it's looking. It'll be if you have a look at each movie, there's still a lot of unanswered questions in each of them, in the whole six, sorry, the whole seven. There's still a lot of unanswered, especially when they bring in new um, characters. Um, but this, these spin-offs between the main, the main movies will, I think, will answer a lot of the, a lot of the um, questions with fans. But uh, I think it's sufficient to say that we are pumped for this movie and that, um, I'm not as it, I'm not uh, exci completely excited for this. Uh, I'm excited for it, but I'm not as excited for it now as I will get when you know we near the uh, release of it. And it's coming out in December, I think it said. Oh, another one. Another one. So obviously, well, <laughs> do you want to do a review for it with me? Why, Why not? not? Yeah, jinx. So um, yeah, so it seems like um, another Star Wars movie that uh, we did a trailer reaction to and we're going to do a movie review on. I cannot wait. Please go down, like, and comment on this video and subscribe to my channel for more trailer reactions, movie reviews, and uh, just to let you guys know something really quick, I have a video coming out really soon uh, about me and my friend Dan uh, doing spoiler talk. It's a full-on, it's a pretty long video and it's just about us talking about uh, going in depth on our feelings and thoughts on Batman v Superman. So stick around for that and uh, catch you later.